you doing, toots? <laughs> I'm Felony Dodger. Yeah. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm posting my breast form tutorial. That is, I'm gonna show you how I made my very own breastplate. Titties. You can follow me on YouTube at Felony Dodger, on Instagram at Felony Dodger, and on Facebook at Felony Dodger. The same breasts that you're gonna see me make today are actually the same ones worn in Boulay Brothers Dragula Season 2 by none other than Disaster. This is all DIY. Look at this, why won't you, huh? Do you like it? And guess what? My very good friend, Felony Dodger, she teach me how to make this. I'm wearing her shirt. I like her. She's my friend. Um, let's get to it. Shrink the screen. So I'm beginning by covering my breast titties. Um, cutlets titties. with foil. I'm covering them with foil because we're gonna then cover them with tape. What we're essentially doing is we're gonna make a pattern, like you make clothes. We're gonna make a two-dimensional pattern out of a three-dimensional object so we can craft it in a different medium so we can wear them. 3D breasts. Titties. Cover the breasts in foil, then put the breasts on a piece of construction paper, then we put tape over the foil. Um, you can learn how I more specifically did this from Evil Ted. That's YouTube Evil Ted. He is a, an amazing cosplayer. His tutorials are incredible. It's basically how I learned it everything I'm doing. So, so, oh, look at this woman and her breasts. Oh. So now we're making lines uh, over the highest peaks of the curves because we're gonna then cut the lines and then flatten the shape out. That'll give us the two-dimensional shape which we'll trace onto EVA foam and then we will glue the foam back together and it will become breast mother. Um, so what I'm doing right here right now is ripping the paper off. We're gonna take those titties out. Titties. Look at those little cutlets. Mm, yeah. Chicken. Mm, mm. Yeah. Um, we're taking. <laughs> that was my disaster impression. Hmm. We're taking the cutlets out. Titties. And we're gonna cut up these lines that I made. Again, remember that when you draw the lines on the shape, you want to get them on the highest points. That'll help us to flatten it out later. I cut mine completely in half since the breasts are symmetrical, so I'm just going to duplicate each side. I'm going to trace one side onto the foam, and then I'm just going to flip it and trace the other side so we have two symmetrical breasts. When an object has symmetry, we say it is symmetrical. Titties. You see this shape here has overlapped, so we're gonna cut it completely off, and we're gonna cut a separate piece of foam to glue back on later. Here we go. Okay, so tracing, 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 tracing. Also, I got my breast cutlets from Feminique. You can look it up on Amazon. Feminique makes um, Titties. really weighty Titties. breasts for drag queens um, or for whoever wants some breasts. I don't care who needs them, who wants them. So, I'm tracing here. Being careful to not overlap shapes. If I do, I want to do my best to fill in the gaps later. And you will be filling in gaps later with um, Quick Seal. It's a bathroom caulking agent, actually. Um, so if you have small discrepancies, it will be okay. Cutting the shape out of paper here. Oh, it looks like a little baby octopus. Oh, little baby. Ooh. Hi there, little baby octopus. Who'd have thought that breasts flattened out are the same thing as octopuses? Did you know that? Now I'm tracing that shape onto the EVA foam. If you recognize this foam, it's probably because it's the same foam used in like yoga floor mats or children's mats, um, children's play school mats. It's like I said, affordable. Like six pieces of this stuff is like 17 bucks. It's great. Using in a, a box cutter to cut out the shapes. Be careful if you're under 18 not to cut yourself. 
Yeah. Make sure you cut with a straight angle. It'll make it a lot easier later to glue that back together. Okay, so cutting, 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 cutting. I cut those separate pieces out first. We're gonna glue them back on later. And make sure that you write with your permanent marker on the shape Maybe you can write A, A, B, B on the sides if that helps you to, to remember which sides are touch, touching which sides. So for example, these appendages that I'm gluing right now, you know, I wouldn't remember where they went had I not marked them. Also, you see these lines on the foam. Those are called registration marks. They're also used in pattern making for clothes. Um, that's just so you can see where the edges need to line up. The marks need to line up together. I'm using what is the craft look? Titties. I am using barge cement to glue these together. Barge is a contact cement, which means it is pliable. It's like a rubber cement. So I did one layer, and then I let it dry for maybe five, ten minutes, and then I did another layer of barge. Barge is very toxic. Wear a mask if you're going to use it frequently. I just put the barge on the edges, and as you can see here, just pop the edges together. Again, remember, the registration marks that you cut, those little notches, those need to match. That way, the breast will have a curvature. Okay, using a heat gun on the back of the foam, I'm kind of melting the foam a little bit. This is after the barge has had 24 hours to dry. And then I'm using this half sphere shape that I've covered in foil, again, to prevent sticking to the object, sticking to the back of the breasts. Titties. To kind of push the back and round them. Now with a Dremel, I went in and kind of sanded the edges. Sanding, sanding, sanding. That'll make the edges flush with the skin. One less run with the heat gun. Round them out. Then, like I said, I used quick seal, bathroom caulking, literally just with my finger in water, fill in the cracks. Let them dry completely before adding new layers. I added several layers. You add as many layers as you need to to feel like the breasts are smooth. I'll come in drag to your house and caulk your bathroom. Don't think I won't. So, that is dry and remember, between layers of caulk, please let it dry. It doesn't take that long. You can let it sit in front of a fan. Zoom back out. The final step, which I don't have recorded, sorry, is that I let it all dry and then I sprayed the whole breast form with a stuff called Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is a silicone tire spray. You can get it at Home Depot or you can order it offline. I sprayed the entire breast form maybe like three or four times over with white because I have a lighter skin complexion. Let it dry and then your breast will have a protective coating and it makes the caulk um, nice and flush with the, with the EVA foam. It creates the nice smooth finish and it's still mm, pliable. Um, after that, sprayed it with a latex-based spray paint, uh, peach color, and then if you want to accent in oil-based paint, you can. Um, if you need to like make some shading, whatever you want to do, oil-based. And then that's important, and I tell you why, because the Plasti Dip is a silicone coating. The, if you use water-based paint on top of it, it eventually over time will crack. Um, so the foam will take the oil better. So use oil, although oil does take longer to dry. I hate to say, so put it in front of a fan. Oil paints take like two, three days to dry. Figure out how you wanna fasten the back. You can use magnets, Velcro works better. Um, but there you go. You have your own breasts, Please. DIY style. Ooh, you're such an anarchist, you and your DIY things. I bet you fix your own bikes and make your own wine and have a mustache. Mr. DIY. The barge cement and a couple other of the supplies are not that cheap, but once you have them, they go a long way. So I made the devil horns that I wear, the big spiky titties, titties. the wiener that I wear, um, the 
Zesterina that made the breastplate with me that she wears, all based on the supplies we bought. So the initial charge is worth it over time if you're planning on doing this over and over again, like me. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope everything was clear. If you're still confused, I recommend going to Evil Ted's YouTube. He does great cosplay tutorials and he will show you how to make any shape uh, out of a three-dimensional object, turn it into a 2D pattern, and then reform it into a shape, wearable, um, usable, whatever. Bye! Titties.